Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to JFD Traders Tea Time with me, that is Nunchauskas. Today is the 15th of April 2020, so yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this Wednesday's afternoon recorded session uh, where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, the usual stuff. Uh, but before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest, and we can continue. Okay, so um, also just before we jump in into the charts, uh, quick mentioning as always, quick mentioning of our JOD uh, YouTube channel, which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. <coughs> and of course, our uh, JFD uh, Bank website and specifically our JFD research page, which we also update on a daily basis. So, yep, feel free to visit us here on jfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there, guys, on the top. So, um, also, as always before, uh, as it became now a tradition, we, we quickly have a look at what's happening here globally. So this was the figure this morning. Uh, let's quickly update this and uh, let's see what's happening here globally in terms of the uh, coronavirus. Now, have we reached the 2 million figure? <clears throat> we are very close. Um, so uh, we are very close to this official hitting that uh, 2 million number and of course the total amount of deaths also continues to rise unfortunately so uh, anyway guys um, yeah let's let's see how the market is is uh, getting along here now we're seeing uh, looking at the FTSE here we're seeing a bit of a decline um, and this is what I was talking about this morning basically that uh, given the fact that we managed to drift and close yesterday back below this 8,800 uh, sorry 5,815 territory this kind of increases the chances of a potential further move lower and uh, this is what exactly exactly what happened um, so the index dr continues to drift lower however it's near its upside support line taken from the low of the 23rd of March so the big question here is can this upside line provide support. If it can, we could see the scenario that I was talking about this uh, this morning uh, happening, where we could see a nice reversal and a push back to the upside. However, uh, keep your eyes on the on today's close. If we get a daily close below the upside line, well. This, in a way, increases the chances of a potential further move lower. Um, however, just to get a little bit more comfortable with uh, lower areas, we would like to see. A drop below the 5,500 zone, and that's basically the um, the lowest point of. Let me just grow, grow, uh, go back into this uh, and go back to history here. That's the lowest point of 2016, guys. So basically, that's uh, a, drop, a nice good drop and a close below this 5,500 zone could do the trick here for more uh, sellers, and we could see this one drifting uh, south. However, all eyes are on this upside line for now. We cannot really talk about the downside on, on, unless we see a. a nice good daily close below this upside line for now it's still balancing on this uh, uh, on this up upside line because don't forget that we may get a, a false breakout here so we could see this one drifting lower but then reversing back and closing uh, above this upside line so that's why wait for uh, wait for the daily close uh, Dow Jones industrial average so uh, yesterday the mm, the index travel higher remained above this uh, 23,617 mark uh, but um, still kind of failed to move above the high of uh, last week um, or should, uh, I do apologize is, is it um, the ninth uh, I think it was last week yes Yes, of course. So uh, the high of last week, it failed to move above it. it sorry, it failed to stay above it uh, because it did have a brief kind of visit above that level. However, it still closed below it. So uh, and this area here was uh, near the 24,009 zone or in a way you could round it up towards the uh, 2400 zone. Um, but again, yeah, 
for now guys uh, looking at the cash index we can see that the uh, cash index is declining as well it's currently trading at around 23 23470s mark so it's still uh, still above above this upside line so also a big question here can it remain above this upside line um, could this little drop lower right now could it just be seen as a temporary correction uh, before another leg of buying again guys keep your eyes on this upside line but if this upside line breaks and and we see a daily close below this upside line we will meet we'll be keeping close eye on the 22,595 zone which is uh, as you can see acted as a good area of resistance previously and also support so a nice good drop below this could lead to some deeper extensions to the downside again uh, for now the, the the down move here is considered as a temporary correction um, if this upside line holds we could see a nice rebound to push higher again however if this upside line breaks then well I mean uh, be very careful here and watch this 22,595 zone because if that gets broken then yep deeper extensions to the downside could be possible uh, WTI oil um, so looking at he, this one here it you can see that it's drifting lower it's uh, moving below this um, below the uh, psychological 20 zone all eyes are on today's close because that's going to be quite interesting to see if we finally can get a daily close below the, the psychological 20 zone for now we are very close to that still so it's too early to make a call here and if we do get a close below this then yep deeper extensions to the downside could be possible guys so that's why be very careful here be very cautious and uh, let's see how this is going to play out uh, the next tar target for us as i've mentioned previously in my videos is around the 17 17.12 17 mark which is the uh, the lowest point of uh, November 2001 so that's what we're going to be targeting if we get a nice daily close below this territory below that psychological 20 zone um, DXY so DXY is popping higher today um, so previously last time when I was looking at this one I was telling you uh, to keep an eye on this scenario where we could see a bit of a push higher but then if it continues to trade below this downside line we could see another round of selling so which happened but it didn't really quite reach this area the the 98.27 uh, I, I talked about this one but as you can see uh, the index is the dollar index is pushing higher today uh, and is breaking this downside line and now testing the 99.91 zone this is with the, the level that I talked about previously uh, we need to see a nice good push above this and uh, a nice good close above this on a daily candle and on a daily chart and then yep we could consider maybe some higher levels still the more comfortable level after which after a break of which we could aim for for the upside is this hundred 100.93 mark which is the high of the 6th of April but um, even if like I said if we do get a close above this 99.91 zone then yes we, we will aim for a bit of more upside um, but again for now guys given the sharp uprise here let's see if the um, if the index can close above this territory or at least above this downside line if it can then there is still chance for this one to drift higher if it cannot if it drifts suddenly back down here back below this uh, this downside line then well I mean the upside could be slightly off the table so yep for now be, let's keep an eye on this one very interesting developments here and uh, yep the dollar index is pushing trying to make its way higher again um, Oh, and by the way, in terms of the dollar, uh, one of the reasons probably why it's, it's pushing higher is that the equities are uh, sliding here and basically uh, the risk of the coronavirus still exists and uh, yep, the, the, the indices, the equity market is feeling the heat right now. So dollar tends to sometimes be as a safe haven in these, these particular circumstances. So uh, that's why there is a bit of a demand here, uh, an uprising demand in the US dollar. So yep, guys. Uh, because like I said it, it does try sometimes play the role of a safe haven in when the times are uh, let's say not very good um, leading into ripple um, so the ripple here this crypto um, continues to drift lower slightly 
Um, however, uh, as I've mentioned previously, in order for us to get a little bit more comfortable with lower levels, we need to see a nice good uh, drop in a close below the 0 0.1760 zone, and then we could aim for a deeper extensions to the downside. For now, we're neutral. We're just going to continue observing this and waiting for we are waiting for a clear breakthrough one of the highlighted areas, either a drop below the 0 0.1760 or a push above the 0 0.2053 territory because um, in, in a way, in order for us to get comfortable with higher levels, we need to see a push above this barrier. Uh, that's the current high of April. And if we do see a move above this, then yep, this would confirm a forthcoming higher high and more buyers could be joining in. Let's get rid of this line. We no longer need it. And to be honest, we don't longer need this one as well. So now we're focusing mainly on this resistance barrier right here around the 0 0.2053 and the this uh, support zone near the 0 0.1760. Um, US dollar against Turkish lira. So um, the uh, weaker... Um, weaker Turkish Lira and the stronger uh, US dollar that's what we this is the combination that we get and this is the result that we get basically the uh, the pair is now pushing above this uh, 6.84 territory 6.84 and let me just remind you what that was that's the that's the highest point that's the high of uh, 30 30th of August so as you can see, the pair is now uh, traveling higher. Now, the highest point of August was around 7.20 zone, roughly around there. Again, it depends on the, um, probably on the platform where, you know, you. but again, uh, if on this chart here, particular chart, uh, we do have the area around the 7.20, uh, 7, 0, 7 20, 70, rough, or 69, actually, I would say. Uh, so roughly around there. And as you can see, the pair is now pushing above the highest point of uh, or should I say the high of the 30th of August 2018 um, near the 6.84 territory now if of course if it stays here uh, if it closes a daily candle above this then yep there is a good chance for this one to drift further north um, however we'll be very careful very cautious guys um, let's see how this is going to play out I mean this could continue rising a little bit more uh, maybe we could even see a test of the, that psychological seven mark however again be very careful right now I mean don't get me wrong it's it's already quite extended here to the upside so that's why with the upside we'll be very careful of course yes for now we will continue pushing higher um, but again we'll take everything with a pinch of salt just in case this suddenly reverses back down and if, if let's say we do see a daily close below this 66.84 territory then yep maybe we could aim for a bit of uh, correction here uh, to the downside so for now guys keep your eyes on this one. USD JPY very quickly here as well. Uh, the US dollar is pushing higher. Um, so even though the um, the yen uh, should be the more uh, this is would be should be seen as a as uh, more as a safe haven in this situation. Still, you can see that the US dollar is outperforming even the yen, um, and we're seeing a nice push here to the upside from you on USD JPY. For now, according to everything what I've mentioned previously in my videos in my recent videos videos where I was saying that if if it tests this area this pair might rebound and this is what exactly what it's doing right now so it's rebounding however it still remains below this downside line taken from the high of the 25th of March so in a way for now even if it travels higher as long as it remains below this downside line we will stick to the downside but again to be more on the safe side we would prefer to see a drop below the 106.92 zone so yep keep your eyes on this level here on the, for the downside uh, for now we're not really doing anything we're not touching this one because if it travels higher and breaks this downside line now this is where it could turn out to be ugly for uh, for the um, for the sellers however um, keep Keep your eyes on this little territory around the 108.58 zone because it it also coincides here with uh, this 100 EMA here on the daily chart uh, shown as the green line and slightly above that we do have the 200 EMA on the daily chart so basically some might say that as long as we remain below this be, below these be, below these EMAs there is still a bit a bit of chance for this one to drift lower so that's why we have our um, 
upside scenario only from here from the 109.38 zone which is the high of the 6th of April and uh, or in other words the current highest point of April so that's why we'd rather be safe than sorry um, and we'll wait until we get a break above this in order to aim for higher levels um, again for now guys be very careful with this one here uh, USD CAD um, so this is what I was talking about this morning so uh, again also something that came out just recently of course that's the US uh, retail sales so the core retail sales uh, which excludes automo automobiles um, came out slightly better than the forecast still I mean it, it's bad don't get me wrong I mean the forecast was around uh, minus 4.8 percent it came out at minus 4.5 so it's a, a better number than the forecast but still way below the um, way below the uh, the previous number and uh, the previous number was at minus 0 0.4 so so yeah I mean that's one of the uh, lowest it has been for quite a while and to be honest as far as I can see here going back to 1992 uh, that's basically the all-time low so um, yep guys that's the lowest it has been before uh, ever um, the retail sales the headline retail sales of course uh, also didn't perform well but um, that one even actually came worse than expected and uh, that one came out as uh, at one minus mi minus 8.7 so again uh, also a an all-time low that's a historic low also going back all the way towards 1992 so Yep, the um, that's not really looking good here. However, you can see that USD CAD is popping higher, and uh, as I said, the first of all, the US dollar here is re currently reacting as a um, as a safe haven, more of a safe as a safe haven, um, and in addition to that, the Canadian dollar is weakening due to falling oil prices. So that's the, the that's the combination that we're seeing here, and as you can see, the pair is pushing higher. It's drifting above this downside line. Uh, it's also above the uh, 1.4076 uh, is territory. I talked about this one this morning, and what I was telling you is if we see a daily close above this, then yep, there could be more upside to come. However, the day is not finished yet, so let's see if, if the US session can bring uh, this pair back below this downside line, and we will just have ourselves a nice falls breakout. But again, like I said, for now, guys, uh, it is at, if we take as it is right now, we are uh, leaning more towards the upside. But uh, as I've mentioned previously, I, we need to see a nice uh, daily close above this uh, 1.40, 75, 76 zone, and then we could aim for further higher levels. Um, actually, AUDUSD, that's the other one that I wanted to show you. Um, so AUDUSD, so uh, basically all these are going to be similar, AUDUSD, GBPUSD, and EURUSD. All of them are drifting lower, but here with the AUDUSD, it kind of worked out almost nicely. So I talked about this territory yesterday. Basically, I was saying that if the pair pair uh, remains uh, or should I say gets a hold up either near the 0 0.6434 or near this downside line then we could see a nice re reversal here which is happening right now the pair is drifting lower now we could try to draw a nice uh, short term upside support line here just to see if we can get a hold up somewhere around here uh, the big question here of course as I said will this upside line hold and now don't get me wrong it's a little bit of a tentative line however we'll keep that on the chart for now and uh, if we get a hold up here then we could see a nice rebound and a push back to the upside uh, but probably given this situation we'll we'll now take a more of a, a neutral stand here and uh, wait for a push above um, either this downside line or a break below this upside support line before considering a further directional move so basically long story short we are currently a little bit on the neutral side um, GBPUSD so this is what I uh, want to show you as well um, so this this pair is moving back down and so after reaching yesterday after reaching the 100 EMA on the four hour uh, sorry on the daily chart um, you can see that the pair today is selling off sharply and uh, drifting back below this 1.2485 zone that previously we were looking at as a good uh, uh, resistance barrier and uh, now it's drifting back below this 
So um, it failed to reach our target here near the 1.2726, which also coincides with the 200 EMA on the daily chart. So unfortunately, yep, it found resistance near the 100 EMA and now it's drifting back down. So hopefully um, all you uh, had your stop losses somewhere around here. Uh, but again, for now, the big question, will it stay below this or not? Will it stay below the 1.2485? If it stays below this, well, we could start aiming for maybe some, some downside here. So keep your eyes on today on today's candle, today's daily candle. Let's see where it's going to end up being. And finally, Euro USD. So here the um, again the similar story, but a Euro USD is taking a slightly bigger hit, um, jumping into a four-hour chart. You can see this is what I talked about this morning, and what I was saying that if this area here, because this morning we were still above this uh, this barrier, the 1.0953 territory, we were still above it. We were still we were still above the 200 EMA on the four hour chart and what I was saying if this area holds we could see a nice rebound and a push higher however if this territory breaks this is what again like I said what I've mentioned this morning that then we could start considering a potential move towards this upside support line taken from the low of the 22nd of March and as you can see this is exactly what's happening right now so now the big question here is can this um can this upside line hold and can all this territory provide a good uh, support but if it fails to do so, if we see a drift below this upside line, below this downside line, uh, yes, of course, this increases the chances of a further drift lower. However, as I've mentioned previously, in order for us to get comfortable with deeper extensions to the downside, we would like to see a drop below the uh, 1.0777, and then we could, and that's basically the lowest point of February, and then we could uh, aim for uh, further declines. This area also acted as a fantastic area of support here back in the beginning of April as well. So. Uh, yep, all eyes are on this territory, and uh, let's see uh, if this can break. However, first, of course, the main focus is on these two upside, uh, these two lines, the upside uh, and the downside line. If this area provides support, we could see a bit of a rebound, maybe uh, something like this happening. However, um, if it fails to do so, then yep, watch out for this 1.0777 zone. Okay, guys, I really hope you found it useful, and I really hope you are. Uh, staying careful right now and very cautious because again this is a very interesting market right now and uh, be very careful be safe um, don't over trade um, if something's not working out well leave it there's always tomorrow um, like I said don't over trade and uh, always have your stop losses in place guys so thank you very much for watching and listening guys I really appreciate your time and if you want to catch my video tomorrow um, around six o'clock GMT time uh, my morning video my traders espresso then yep uh, uh, I'll be happy to kind of see you there. And uh, yep, guys, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much and bye-bye.